If you want to rank first on Google, increase your organic traffic, and make lots of money from your website, you need to have the most relevant information regarding every keyword you are aiming to rank for. Search intent is basically what a web user wants from the web when they type in certain keywords on search engines. Are they looking for a product to buy? Do they want information about a certain event? Or are they looking for a particular website? Knowing what your target audience is looking for on the web is very important, and it comes with several advantages. There are four types of queries on search engines. Informational queries. This is the most common query found on the web. Examples. How old is YouTube? What footballer has the most goals? How to do keyword research in 2020. This category is broad because, 8 out of every 10 people on the web are looking for information. Transactional queries. The searcher is trying to buy something online. Most of the time, the searcher already knows what they want to buy, they just need to know where to buy them, and how much they cost. Examples. PlayStation 5 price. Premium VPN coupon code. iPhone 11 Pro discount. Navigational queries. These set of users already know where they want to go on the web, probably they can't remember the direct URL, or the URL is so complex that it would be easier to just search for it with some keywords. Examples. Twitter ban appeal page. Tribe web information tech. YouTube audio library. Facebook business manager. Commercial analysis queries. This is similar to transactional search intent, but the users in this category are still considering what product to buy, so they need a comparison between similar products. Examples. Best Premium Keyword Research Tool Review Best SUV 2020 Low Budget Ladies Shoes RS vs Moz vs Semrush Review Some basic keyword terms and what they mean Keyword Difficulty KD. This is a measurement of how hard it is to rank for this keyword. There are several metrics used in determining the difficulty of any keyword, we will be talking more about that in future videos. Search Volume Average number of searches that keyword is getting monthly in a specific region. It is advisable to go after keywords with a good amount of search volume, targeting keywords that have zero search volume is a total waste of time. Targeting keywords with zero search volume is like selling sand at the beach, no one is looking for sand to buy at the beach, because there are lots of available sand. CPC. Cost per click refers to the amount an advertiser is paying for that keyword on Google. Cost per click differs, it is based on how valuable that keyword is. The CPC for insurance keywords is higher than the CPC for entertainment keywords. If you are looking to make more money as a publisher for Google AdSense or any advertising agency, then you need to target high CPC keywords. CPM. Known as cost per thousand, this is the price of 1000 ads impressions displayed on a website. Although CPC is the best way to generate revenue as a publisher for an advertising agency, cost per thousand is also important if you have lots of daily traffic on your website. Clicks. Average number of clicks that the keyword gets in search results every month. Not all keywords get clicked after being searched. Keywords like, how old is Google, would give you a direct answer on the search engine result page, therefore users won't need to click on your website to get information about that search. Types of keywords. Keywords are categorized into two based on their length. There are, short tail keywords. These keywords are really difficult to rank for, and it requires lots of search engine optimization, off-page, and on-page optimization. Example. SEO. Airplanes. Insurance firms. Chelsea. Long tail keywords. These are evergreen keywords with low difficulty compared to short tail keywords. They involve a combination of three or more words to make keywords. Example. David Beckham's net worth. Countries with the best army. Biggest water slide in London. Eiffel Tower tourist guide. The best keyword combination to target depends on how old your website is and how good is your SEO. For new websites, I will recommend that you target long tail keywords. Low difficulty keywords. Keywords with high search volume. Keywords with good CPC. And most importantly, keywords that are relevant to your niche. Now that we are well introduced to keywords, I will show you how to make keyword research and also free tools you can use for keyword research. Follow me closely. The first free keyword research tool that I will be using is called Ubersuggest. Ubersuggest has both premium and free features. This tool is offered by Neil Patel, and the free plan has lots of great features. Type in the keyword you want to research on. For this tutorial, I will be searching for, Best Movies 2020. Next, select the region that you want to get information about that keyword. This is important because a keyword might be getting lots of searches in the United States, but nobody in India is searching for it. 
Then click on search and allow the tool to run the analysis, this usually takes less than 15 seconds. Make sure you make research on regions that you want to target because metrics differ by region. After some seconds, your keyword data should be ready. The search volume for Best Movies 2020 is over 12,000 every month. SEO difficulty is the same as keyword difficulty, here the difficulty is 17. This is a very easy keyword to rank for, so if you put the right SEO practices, you should be at Google's first page. Paid difficulty refers to how hard it is to rank for if you pay for search engine advertisements. We will go deeper in future videos. Cost per click for this keyword is 73 cents. This is a pretty fair amount, and it would be beneficial if you have a fair amount of traffic. The next data shows you the trend of the keyword. This is a chart of how the keyword volume has changed in a couple of months. Uber Suggest gives you this data for both mobile and computer devices. The next data gives you ideas on other keywords that are related to your main keyword. It is good to target more than one keyword on a single web post. I will show you how to do that in my next video. This data can also help you decide if you should use a keyword as your main target or if you should use another keyword. Simply go through the data, look for the keyword with a high amount of search volume and the lowest SEO difficulty, then make that keyword your primary target. For Best Movies 2020, the CPC is 79 cents, but Best Movies of 2020 which is very similar to my main keyword, have a CPC of $1.01. The search volume is also great, so I will make it my main keyword. To get more information, click on the keyword, you will get information about the amount of backlink the top 10 pages on search result has. You will also get the domain score of every page that is ranking for that keyword. If you want more data, just create a free account with Uber Suggest. Play around these keyword suggestions and look for what is best for you, always put in mind the golden rules that I mentioned earlier. This is important especially if your website is new or has a low domain authority. So, target keywords with low difficulty, but a good amount of CPC and search volume. The next free keyword research tool that I will be using is called Moz. Moz is one of the best SEO tools available on the market. If you search for SEO on either Google or Bing, Moz will come out as the first result. Type in the keyword that you want to research on. Select the country that you will be targeting, Moz covers more countries than Uber suggest. Then, click on Analyze, give it a few seconds, and you will be provided with lots of valuable data for that keyword. The search volume for this keyword is low in the UK, so, I will target the United States. This keyword has between 6,000 to 9,000 monthly searches. Click on Keyword Suggestions, this will show you keywords that are related to your main keyword. This will help you understand what your target audience are looking for on the web. Scroll through the list, look for the most relevant ones, and make them your secondary keywords. SERP Analysis gives you details about the top websites that are ranking for this keyword on search engines. This will show you details about every domain. Details like page authority, domain authority, number of backlinks to that page, and the SEO score of that page. This will help you understand what you need to do if you want to rank high for that keyword. Also, if you are a new website and the keyword difficulty is high, look for similar keywords with lower difficulty and also try to improve your domain authority by building backlinks. The last but not the least free keyword research tool is directly from Google. Yeah, you heard me right, Google. If you are trying to rank high on Google, why not use Google to understand what your target audience is searching for? To use Google for keyword research, you need to download two plugins. The first is called Keyword Surfer. The second is called Mozbar. After installing both, open Google. Search for the keyword and you will get several pieces of information about that keyword. You will get the estimated search volume of the keyword. You will get keyword ideas that are related to your main keyword, you can use this to compare which keyword has a higher search volume. Extend the list to see more keyword ideas. Correlation charts show you information about the amount of traffic each website is getting from that keyword. It will show you the number of words the page has. And finally, it will show you all the keywords on that page. You can also check for multiple countries that you want to target. So which of the three tools do you think is more valuable? Let me know in the comments section. Don't hesitate to ask me questions, because I am always happy to answer them.
please if you find this tutorial helpful, subscribe to my channel and like this video, so you won't miss out on my new tutorials once I publish them. Building backlinks is an easy way to increase your domain authority, so you should check out my complete playlist with several great tutorials on do follow backlinks from websites like Wikipedia and other high authority links. Thanks for watching, until my next tutorial, have a great day.